Are you possibly considering adding a Labrador to your home? Are you interested in how they interact with other dogs, kids or small animals before making that decision? Well don't worry because that is exactly what I'm going to help you with in today's video. Welcome back to the Femre Labrador Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the amazing Labrador, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Labrador companions. So if you love the Labrador like we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future Labrador video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look into the Labrador's behavior around other dogs, small animals, and kids. And we'll start off with the dogs that the Labrador might live with. Now, labs are friendly and exuberant, and this isn't just towards humans, but to other canines. Labs tend to do very well with other dogs, and they love to play. They even do well with small dogs, though even though the lab has a sunny disposition and gets along with others, they do still require a high-level canine leader that they can take cues from. Good socialization from a young age and a really good exercise regime are absolute priorities. This is because sometimes the lab can be a little bit too friendly and too playful, which a much more reserved dog might not appreciate or might even cause injury to a smaller dog by accident just because of how rambunctious their play can be. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. So then what about dogs that they don't live with? Well, labs make quick friends, and this isn't exclusive to the dogs that they live with. They tend to hit it off with dogs that they don't know as well. A quick, hi, how are you, is all it can take before a lab, and their new canine pal are bounding off to play together as BFFs. Though again, caution should be taken around unknown dogs to make sure the lab is not being too pushy with another dog that doesn't share their excitement about that new meeting. So then, what about with small animals? Well, despite being a hunting breed, Labradors can also thrive with small animals. The breed can be successful around cats, livestock, rabbits, and pretty much anything. Though socialization is still critical as the lab's boundless energy can sometimes cause injury even if their intent is just to have some fun with the other animal. Which takes us on to probably one of the most important areas, and that's how they are with children. Now, the Labrador can be fantastic around children. They can be easygoing around the small humans and take everything in their stride. They are stable, and most can even put up with some of the annoyances that come with children in their stride. However, even a breed as relaxed and as friendly as a lab should never be left unsupervised with children, especially young ones. The lab just doesn't excel with kids in their household, but also other children. Lastly, you probably guess it was coming that labs can sometimes get a little too excited around kids as well and then may accidentally jump on them or topple them over, which is why even as an incredible dog breed, a friendly, lovable, sociable one, it's still so important to put firm rules, boundaries and expectations in place for your Labrador to keep themselves, other animals, other dogs and other children safe in their company. So I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button before you go and subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two new Labrador videos coming to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Labrador Show.